Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the max value of a column combination in Power BI. And this tutorial will be applicable to get the minimum value, average value, etc. Like any aggregate functions, you can use uh, this tutorial as a support. Let's see how we can do that. In my data set, which has salesperson item, sales value, and sales date. Right, first I demonstrate what I'm going to do today. So it's like this. So I'll create a small measure here. Right, so measure, I will write get max. So here I straightly write max of sales value. Right, so this is max function. This is just to get the max value. So if I add it to a card visual, so this is the max, right? So let's say I will add few items here. So that is car and van to filter it. And then I will add salesperson. So these are the columns that I have. So let's say if I select car, that is uh, the max value will not change. So let's say van. So the max value will change. So then uh, according to that filtering, the max value will get changed. So let's say if I select our own creator with filtered with van. So this is the max value. So then if I say Brittany, so the different, so based on the filtering, the max value will get changed. So what I'm going to do today is to write a function or to create a function to get a table to get the combination let's say van and Britney with this combination what is the max value so to, to get it as a table so that is the tutorial that I'm going to do today now I'm going to create a small table to get that combination with the max value so in power bi there's a very strong function called dex function called summarize so I'm going to use that so I'll show you how to do that so first you can go and here you can create a new table I can say max table right and then I use the summarize function here so which outputs a table so first I need to add the table and then I need to use the combination of columns that I want so in the combination columns that I want is item and then salesperson right and then as a group by I want the max value so these two combination item and salesperson I want to get the max value so I will write a column called max value and then that is the name that parameter and the expression is max right max and then max of the sales value so now as you can see when I write this so for salesperson and item column combination, I get the max value. So this is what the summarize function does. So let's say, I mean, I can get the minimum value as well. Any aggregate function we can use here. So I will try here min, right? So then it displays the minimum value, right? So here I rename it to max and I'll compare with the result that I uh, showed to the demonstration part I'll show you. Right, so this is the max values. Okay. Now I will add the created max table to the report uh, designer view to compare. So I'll create a small table view here. Right, and then I add the columns. Right, so here car, item, salesperson, and car. So here I select item car. And then I'll take this one a little here, right? So item car and here I will select Brittany, right? So then, sorry, here it will select van and Brittany. So value is 1190. So it's correct. So let's say if I select car and then if I select Aaron, so Aaron creator car is equal to 1050. So as you can see 
for the column combination by using the summarize dex function you can get the max minimum and any aggregate value so thanks for watching my video i hope learned some, you learned something on power bi thanks for watching my video and please subscribe my channel for more power bi videos